Violent crime in West Oahu is now top of mind for many residents, with nine shootings already this year, the latest happening just last week. Tonight, elected officials are holding a town hall at the Waianae High School cafeteria to promote youth empowerment and crime prevention. Joining us now is one of the officials who will be there, City Council Member Andrea Tupola. Aloha and good morning, Council Member. Thank Aloha, you so much for Thank stopping for by with me. us. So it's particularly heartbreaking to see that some kids have been involved in some of these shootings. What do you want to get out of tonight's town hall? You know, tonight we're really looking forward to hearing the youth voice. You know, a lot of our town halls, our neighborhood boards are definitely adults, parents, and we appreciate them. We need them. We need everyone. However, because of the, the ages of some of these offenders and victims, we want to know what's happening within the schools. What do the kids have to say? How is this, you know, feeling when you go to school? What is your safety level? What is your suggestions? I think we're really going to have a different outcome when we shift this to that particular age group. Now, the town hall is focused on uh, enforcement as well. That's something that you folks did focus on on Friday. You had a press conference with the governor and the mayor. A lot of elect officials come in to talk about enforcement. What do you think that we can get out of this? When this has been a topic of conversation for a lot of folks on the west side. You know, when you're trying to prevent crime, you have three sides. You have a location, you have a offender, you have a victim. So how do we address the victim and the offender? How do we address the location? This weekend, we addressed the location by having enforced uh, enhanced enforcement at the boat harbor. But what do we do for the kids? You know, is there enough services? Is there enough follow-up? Do we need more mental health providers to kind of come through? What are the home situations of these families? How do we actually be preventative and not just responsive? We appreciate the response. We need that response. But in order for us to really get down to the root, we have to come way before the problem. I think that's a great point. You're talking about being preventative, getting to the root causes of violent crime, poverty, uh, drug addiction, etc. What are some of the things you think the city can do in this regard? You know, I think we have to stay geographic. We got to stay local. You know, a lot of times we talk about issues and people kind of blow it up into this federal level. Those are important pieces. But how do we keep it on the ground level from street to street, from community to community? What are the associations doing? What more resources do they need? So I'm going to keep this conversation as ground level as possible. What are coaches saying? You know, what are the kids saying? And then from there, we need to come up with strategies, step forwards, and timeline. You know, we can't just talk about things. We have to be able to say within this many months, this will happen. Within this many months, this will happen. The community wants a long-term plan and not just a three-day week or a couple weeks and I am going to build that with the governor with the mayor everybody is all in hands on deck so I'm going to lead the charge and make sure we outline that and then move together as a community you mentioned coaches those are some of the leaders within the community you're inviting sports teams as well tonight who's invited to this town hall you know I thank all the sports teams I asked them to end practice early today I said please get off the field get off the court early bring your kids let's have dinner from five to six so these are some of the mentors in our community you know they also have to handle some of the interactions with the kids not all of them are social workers not all of them have resources so I want those mentors and those role models in our community to stand shoulder and shoulder with me this evening and really say, we're here for you. What more can we do? And of course, me as an elected official with a lot of resources, what can I do to support you? Some of those sports teams, pride and joy of West Oahu. Unfortunately, the flag football team was, you know, witness to some of the shooting activity that happened recently. Um, it's going to be 5 to 8 p.m., correct, at the Waianae High School cafeteria? Yeah, 5 to 6 dinner, 6 to 8 discussion. We're going to keep it focused. We have breakout groups. I have facilitators. We're going to have note takers. We're going to summarize all of the points that we go over. So it's going to be a great event. And we definitely are going to have the kids, the coaches, the parents separated. I'm separating them by schools, by age groups. So really, we can kind of flesh out all of these discussions because Sometimes it's bullying, sometimes it's the middle school, it's the high school. All of the administrators are coming, principals, counselors. So, hey, we're all ears. I think we can do this if we all listen very closely and we make a clear plan. All right, Honolulu City Council Member Andrew Tupola, thank you so much for joining us this morning and thank you so much for your work on this issue. Thank you.